Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a Bluetooth RC controller interface so you can control an RC car or an RC robot. And the controller itself will be your smartphone, as you can see here. And I'm running an app on my smartphone called Bluetooth RC Controller. So here's the main controls. I have my forward and my reverse. Now these are touch and hold controls. So if I press the forward and hold it, the car will go forward. When I release, the car will stop. So I have forward, I have reverse, I have left, I have right, I have forward, left, forward, right, and I have reverse, left, and reverse, right. Now we have some on-off controls. I could turn on or off the headlights, on or off, or the taillights, on and off. And there's the horn control, on and off, and a user function. You can hook it up to whatever you want. And we also have a speed control. It's a little slider to control the speed of your little robot. Okay, here's the receiving end of my RC controller interface. You can see I'm using an HC06 Bluetooth module and the light is solid so I'm actually paired to my app. Now, during development I had a FTDI module plugged in here and then after development I just unplug it. Now it's being controlled by the HC06 Bluetooth module and that's connected up to a blue pill module which is running the STM32F103 R microcontroller. And you can see my four LEDs. There's my forward, reverse, left and right. And I have my three control LEDs. Headlight, taillight and horn. So if I go over to the, the direction LEDs, there's my forward, there's my reverse, there's left, there's my right, there's my forward left, forward right, reverse left, reverse right. And now we can do our on off functions. There's my headlights on off, there's my tail light on off, and there's my horn on off. So there's the controls that we could control our little RC controller interface using Bluetooth and HC06 Bluetooth module. Okay, there's an option on the RC controller app where we could use our accelerometer inside our smartphone to control our RC car. So when my smartphone is flat, that's a stop command. Now if I tilt it forward, I get a forward command. If I tilt it back, reverse, left, right, I got forward, right, forward, left, reverse, left, reverse, right. So that's just another option we could use to control a little RC car. Okay, next, we are going to have a look at the control codes that are being sent when we press buttons on our controller. And every time I press a button on my controller, it sends an ASCII character by Bluetooth, and it's being received by our HC06 Bluetooth module, then the microcontroller can decode that. Now we can have a list of the commands. If we go to settings, we scroll down. So forward is capital F, back is capital B, left is capital L, right is capital R. And there's all the rest of them. There's our headlights, taillights, horn, speed. So every time I press a button on the controller, it sends an ASCII character code, and a microcontroller will decode that, and then apply that to the motor control on our RC car. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. And I have it paired to my smartphone, which is running the Bluetooth RC controller app. So now when I press a button on my app, we can monitor the ASCII control codes that are being sent by Bluetooth. So if I press the forward button and hold it, you see we get an F. If I release, we get a stop. So press and hold, forward, release, get a stop. If I do left and hold, we get a capital L, release, stop. If I, if I press my right control and hold, get a R, capital R, release, get a stop. So if I do our on-off control, there's our headlight on, it's capital W, headlight off, lowercase w. There's our tail light on, off, and there's our horn on and off. Now there's another option. We could do streaming, where it actually will stream the character codes. So I could enable that. If I go into settings and enable streaming, so now it's streaming. There's our stop. There's our forward. Stop. There's our back. Stop. There's a left. Stop. And there's my right. Stop. So by streaming, it just makes it a little bit more reliable. Okay, here's a schematic diagram of my Bluetooth RC controller interface, which I built on my breadboard. You can see it's fairly simple. 
You can see the two main components, the HC06 Bluetooth module and my Blue Peel module. And they're both powered by 5 volts. Now the HC06 Bluetooth module serial port is connected to the serial port of the Blue Peel module. That's how we get our control codes from Bluetooth into the microcontroller. Now we have seven outputs. We have seven GPIOs which are driving seven LEDs. And PB12 to PB15 is our direction control. So PB12 is right and PB13 is back. PB14 is forward and PB15 is left. Now we have our on-off control which is a headlight, tail light, and horn, which is on PB5, PB7, and PB9. So that's all we need for our little interface. So all we need now is to write some code to control our little Bluetooth RC controller interface. Okay, here's the code running on my Blue Peel module for my RC controller interface. And it's written in fourth, so it's interactive, and it makes the development easy. So the first thing we do, we have to initialize our GPIO pins so I'm using seven GPIO pins, and they have to be configured as outputs. So you can see here, O mode, that's output mode, push-pull, PB12, config. So that will set PB12 as an output. And I'm doing that for 13, 14, 15, and 5, 7, and 9. So if I run the word GPIO init, that will run all this code, and will configure all my GPIO outputs. So next is my direction words for my direction control. So the first one is forward and we'll turn on PB14 high which will turn on the the forward LED and the rest of them will, will be low. So we'll clear everything from the previous uh, command. Same as back. If I run the word back it'll, it'll turn on the LED on PB13 which is, my, which is my back LED. And I'm doing it for left, right. You get the idea. It's all the same. Right, stop. There's forward, right, forward, left, back, left. There's my headlight on, so it will make PB5 high, turns on the headlight, and then headlight off is PB5 low. TL is a tail light on off, and then horn on off is PB9 high and PB9 low. And then this kill, so when we disconnect from our car, our Bluetooth disconnection, it will actually shut everything off. So here's our main program, it's called RSC, so that's, that does everything. So first of all, what we do, we initialize the GPIO pins as outputs, and we go into a begin again loop. So this is a continuous loop that's always running. And inside this loop is a case statement. So the first thing it does, key will read the control command coming from the Bluetooth module. That's our ASCII control from our controller. And that will give that to the case statement, and it will compare that ASCII code to all these ASCII codes you see here. So ASCII 70, that's decimal 70, is ASCII code for capital F, and decimal 66 is ASCII code for capital B. So any code that comes in is compared, and if there's a match, so if you get a match of 70, it's gonna run this word here forward, which will turn on the forward LED. So this is always running, and any, any command that comes in, if it matches, it'll run the, the command word, and at the very bottom here, if it sees a, uh, if it doesn't get any match, it just does a non-op. It does any, it does nothing. So if we look at the very first one, 70, if it gets an ASCII 70, a decimal 70 for ASCII F, it will run forward. And if we go to the top, you see the word forward. We'll run that, which will turn on PB14 uh, LED. But in here, we could put anything. We could, we could. Uh, this is this is a program. Whenever we run forward. You could put in a very complex set of code here to control the motors of whatever you're controlling, your drone, your, your car. So whenever we run the word forward, we'll run this code, but you could put in whatever you want to control your own uh, configuration on your own uh, project. So that's basically it. It's very simple. Once you get this up and running, it's all interactive, so I could run any of these words from the keyboard, from the OK prompt and it'll run the code so it's very easy to develop and, and debug. So that's my code there for my little Bluetooth RC controller interface. Okay, here's the pinout diagram of the blue pill module that I'm using in my project. So all I'm using is some GPIO pins and a serial port. So that's all we need for this project. So if you look at the very right bottom, you can see PB12, 13, 14, 15. So those are the four that I'm using for my direction control. Then if you look at PA9, PA10, that's my serial 
uh, connection. That's my serial port, and it's in yellow. And if we look down on the PB5, 7, and 9, that's for the taillight, headlight, and horn control. So that's all we need is, is the GPIO pins and the serial port for this project. So I thought I'd just put this in here for, for your reference for the pinout of the Blue Pill module. Okay, so now you know how this little RC controller interface works. And it's a fairly simple project. All you need is a Bluetooth module and a Blue Pill module. And they're readily available online and they're pretty inexpensive. And the app on your smartphone is a free download. So you could set up the board similar to this, get your project up and running, and get some practice programming GPIO and serial port on ARM microcontrollers.